I go cut the uh, grass and uh, mama uh, yeah locks me out of the house uh, in a sense wait a minute in a sense that earlier today she complained to me about how difficult it was for her to find a wheelchair uh, downstairs uh, she complained to me that yesterday when my niece came home um, she had a difficulty to find a wheelchair wheelchair which we borrowed from home for elderly she has two wheelchairs one is from dr igor kotar next door uh, and another wheelchair is from home for elderly people uh, and she complained to me today about the wheelchair from home for elderly people that it was nowhere to be found uh, that it was inside of the, uh, the garage and that she had to drag herself uh, all the way to the door downstairs to the entrance uh, to unlock the door for my niece uh, I was laughing at that stuff I was laughing at that stuff to me it was funny because um, we have gone through this stuff already one time uh, but another issue about this stuff is when I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital in 2012 that's why this shit is funny to me. Uh, another issue why this stuff was funny to me today when mother mentioned to me is that my niece is pretty in a good physical shape and uh, she does have a husband uh, younger. I think he's 10 years younger than myself. I don't know how old he is. Uh, maybe five years six years young, younger than myself healthy good being taken care of the best being taken care of like a billionaire the two are like a billionaires healthy everything uh, the two have a high degree university doctoral education and uh, i started to laugh about this stuff because what the fuck I didn't know that I supposed to put the chair at the inside of the entrance what exactly she's going to be using one for that's for one thing and the second thing I was laughing about because of this entrance here we have to the balcony this is the entrance to the balcony all you have to do is basically climb the fucking balcony and you are on a terrace and it's either you gonna climb up up the terrace or you're gonna have my elderly mama with a broken leg drag her so it does exactly right drag herself exactly down to the entrance to open you a door well the thing about it is that it's easier probably for such a young people uh, to climb up the terrace it is just as simple as this uh, daytime <laughs> where the fuck is the problem with this stuff when you compare this to the problems that she is facing she's a, supposedly she has a broken leg come on so to me this stuff was funny I'm gonna put it this way now the fun I'll catch up with me but in the wrong sense uh, I did go cut grass. I cut grass. It was hot like a son of a bitch outside. So I cut grass. I cut the grass. And I said to myself, I'm going to get some fruit for mama. Uh, and I did. I got some plums. I was collecting. Then I went inside to get some uh, water. And I was about to take her upstairs. The fruits. Then I realized that I actually locked myself out. Uh, fuck uh, it's not really a problem because all I all mother has to do is 
come from her room and open me a terrace. That's all I wanted. Uh, so I headed to her window at 8.20, 2020, and asked her to please, uh, that I locked myself, etc. All I wanted to do is I wanted to speak to her. I didn't even say anything to her. I didn't bother to explain her anything. Uh, we, we didn't practically, we didn't speak. She heard me under the window and she was just not interested in talking to me. I was uh, throwing apples in the, in the uh, shutter. I used a long pole to hit the shutter so that she could come out. And the only thing that happened was she came to the, uh, to the window and closed the window and that was it. And I had no way I possibly could go inside. So you know what? Uh, I said to myself, well, you know, uh, it's going to pass her and it's going to be okay. You know, she is... Uh, so I proceeded to work. I continued to work in the garden, cut the grass nicely. And I said to myself, I still have plenty of gas inside of this grass cutting machine. So as well as my use the daylight as long as it is. Uh, this was 8.20, so that, that wouldn't be for too long anymore, maybe one hour. And yeah, I did the job. Nicely cleaned the garden. And I said, well, now it's finished. Uh, let's go and I'm going to get Mama again to her window. And maybe this time she will take time to talk to me. You would think so that she would. But it's like I indicated. No. Uh, this is not uh, evil. This is not plain evil. This is mental illness too. There is no way you can be as evil as this. You have to be ill in your head to do the stuff like this. Uh, but it's like everything else. It's like absolutely everything else. Uh, the thing is that I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was all wet. My shirts, everything, socks, underwear, uh, soaking wet. And so I knew that I have some clothing on a terrace. And so what I did, I climbed up the terrace. Uh, it's just not really good for me. It's not good for me because of this thing here. Because of this issue here. I guess it got smaller because I climbed up. When I started to strain myself, I felt a sharp pain here. And that's exactly why I didn't want to do this. But yeah, you have to do what you have to do. This is the easiest way. I would not want mama to go downstairs. Absolutely not. But the problem is that she doesn't want to talk to me and I am wet. I climb up there and I change my silver clothing um, and then I go downstairs again and what I do is I, I don't know what to tell you but this is evil. Uh, we live in a same household. We don't share separate areas or anything like this and my mama actually uh, separate households, I should say. Uh, at this point in time, she actually even depends on me because she has a broken leg. Her leg is in the gypsum. As I call the police station at the number 113, uh, there was an individual who responded to the phone call. However, before I even did this, I recall the whole event about the police officers who were here and about their supervisor, his name is Pivitz. Uh, I know the police officer that spoke to me and other crew, maybe they still don't understand how it works. Okay, I'm going to explain to you how it works. This is a recorder. This is a recorder. And what you see me doing right now 
is actually using a second Android to video record myself. So that's a voice recorder and this is a recorder. Why this should matter to you? Well, in this case, just like in all other cases, it should because before I even called the number 113, I already spoke about Mr. Pevets who was here and what he insisted I should, which window would be best for me to break to get inside of the house. But this is not how things work because technically, really, according to the police procedure, uh, this does require intervention, police intervention, because it's a malicious character uh, that is preventing another person from getting inside of the house. Uh, I don't have anybody else that would open this for me. Uh, and we are in the same household. Therefore, she locked me out. Yeah, does make sense. We are not in a separate household. We are in the same household. Uh, we depend on one another. And currently, my mama depends big on me because I'm the one who takes her to the doctor, take care, cook, everything else. So, uh, it's not okay that she just uh, refuses to even talk to me, engage with me in conversation. Uh, the attitude, she had enormous attitude, uh, cursed me out. Because of me, she didn't have to drag herself anywhere. She didn't drag herself anywhere because of me. I'm the one who carry her. I'm the one who uh, assists her with the wheelchairs and everything. Because of me, she didn't have to do shit. What she did for the niece, that's one thing. But I'm not niece. I'm another person. Because of me, she didn't even have to move finger like this. No, because I don't have anybody else I could call uh, to open me the door to get inside. And because this goes into domestic dispute, the character like this are uh, basically in uh, emergency. This is emergency because you need to get inside of the house. And she is just unwilling to even communicate, it goes under the form of domestic violence, dispute. You see, uh, there are different situations that apply. If I would be in the same house from another household, uh, it would be different. But I am from the same household. Uh, I depend on her and she depends on me. Um, police officer was certain that it's the fire rescue who, by the way, did not even ask me. He did not, he did not allow me to explain anything to him. Uh, he would not allow me to talk because he was involved in exactly even brainwash. Uh, it's in Slovenian language. Uh, it's in the end of the video. You can rely on the information I give you. I'm not giving any false information with this. Uh, he rehearsed this during MK Ultra. Uh, the first thing he stated, this is not, uh, this got nothing to do with the police. And I told him it does have to do with the police. Before I even called him on number 113, and my audio recorder will testify that for me. Just got to make sure which one I take. You know, this, this one will prove you. This one will prove you wrong. Before I called number 113, I explained that it was Mr. Pevets here. Mr. Pevets, the individual who created incident on uh, actually committed physical assault. Actually, he committed battery. It's more than physical assault. He committed a lot of crimes on June the 21st, 2024. It's about, let me see. See that? Two and a half weeks ago, just two and a half weeks ago. Uh, supposedly Mr. Pevets 
is also a supervisor. He claimed that he is a supervisor, that he, uh, Janes Ogulin, ex-director from Novo Mesto Police, also claimed me that he is also very useful in firing people because he's very big and strong. And uh, the way he fires the people is in a brutal way. So the people just put the tail between the legs and they walk away from the police station, I guess. That's how they do it. Yeah, but they, I'm not, I am not the police employee from Novo Mesto Police. No, I don't even wear a police badge from Slovenia or anything like this. No, no worries about that. It's a different individual here. This one here will testify that before I call the number 113, I explained all about breaking inside of the house as to what instructions man whom I have reached at the number 113 who also was involved in it is about 187 centimeters 188 centimeters and it's got uh, like yeah dark brown but also a little bit light hair even a little bit blonde maybe he did have a little bit beard i guess he was a little bit lazy to shave uh, middle build not too chubby not skinny uh, let's just say 188 centimeters tall and I estimate probably maybe he skinned out but back then say 90 kilos 92 kilos eh, if i estimate um exactly the conversation i had with him is exactly the conversation i had with him during mk ultra the one the conversation i had with him today was exactly the this is a number 113 that uh, automatically transfer you to your region whatever your phone call is coming from and uh the only thing that worries me, the smart thing he did, he did a really smart thing, uh, because I'm not part of any team. I'm not part of any team. I'm not any kind of team player. I'm not part of any team. And um, uh, those who repeatedly try to interpret it, this is a form of help. You know what the middle finger is? Sit on it. This is no help. Every one of the incidents like this can place me behind bars. I risk my life every time when I interact with a violence like this. This is this goes into the category of the violence. Uh, he mentioned something about my threatening him. He asked me if I am threatening to him. I am not threatening. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm not threatening to anybody. If I tell you, you're going to get 10 life sentences. This is not a threat. What do you think the fuck hijacking is? Drugging up individual. Death threatening one. Engaging yourself in a physical violence against one. What do you think this is? Well, what category do you think this kind of stuff goes? Causing one repeated trauma and cancer and stuff like this. What category do you think this goes into? By the way, Police investigators told me, Young also told me, they realized too late, it was too damn fucking too late they realized, just, I'm just, just saying by the way, that the stairways here are full of black mold and black mold was exactly this thing here, this is black mold here, I think the cancer they maintained in me the most through bread which was moldy mother demands bread to be frozen 
and then she's unfreezing that the bread so the bread is taken over by the mold and she did so also in a such a, a basket dirty moldy that you can't talk to her about, about absolutely nothing because all you get is screaming yelling and etc etc if you try to fix i try to fix basket for where you place the dishes that are clean uh, you get nothing other than violence out of her screaming yelling insults and improvement that i had made was simply tossed away that's because my i stated during MK Ultra, uh, it's because of me that this thing was purchased. This thing is full of water, is over flooding this. Uh, it's uh, no money to talk about the stuff like this. They made it funny when I had here literally. Uh, department for emergencies during MK Ultra from Slovenian state. Uh, it was this lady that I have to see it, uh, who, who talked about emergencies and what is emergency, and she pointed out the attack dots which they created during MK Ultra, uh, trying to create crisis because. The thing is, I was non-responsive to, to their dots, to their uh, points of interest. Uh, the only points of interest I can refer to during MK Ultra are points of violence uh, through which they believe they would manage to trigger uh, a criminal procedure against me. It's why I just watched whatever went on right next to me, but I never reacted. I would recommend people that whoever is investigating MK Ultra crime to just let it go for at least six months, one year study, watch, recall things, watch and recall more, watch and recall more. And once you are in a good mood, you know, that you know enough that you're not going to lose, uh, then hit, then start to collect proofs. You have to get in a special state of mind to do this because it's a subconscious manipulation is what MK Ultra is. Uh, to make the story short, he advised me to call the number 112. That's a fire rescue department uh, for whom he also explained me. Yeah, they will go and they will break you inside of the inside of the inside of the house and so on so the one who is creating emergencies that's why I, when i started video record this stuff i explained to you this is was this was actually even urgency this goes under urgency emergency issue it's not okay it goes into domestic violence issue because who the fuck are you being assisted by your helper your personal helper your personal assistant to close the door to him in the face, the window, and ignore him watching TV and having a good time in the room. Who the fuck are you? Even if this would not be my mama, if this would be in some other house, and something like this would have happened to me, I would have done the same thing. I would have called the police. For nothing other to have a record, if for nothing other to have a record, to have a testimony that the person did something contrary to the ethics, contrary to the code to the normal ethics. It goes into category I stated. Now the thing is the individual would not allow me, like I said, the only smart thing he did was, even that I was frustrated in the beginning because he wouldn't give me a name. I was polite, present myself like always everything. But again, the same thing, he wouldn't give me a name. This time I'm actually thankful he didn't give me a name. Uh, the thing is, he's not a supervisor. He is, uh, he got a promotion, you know, he got a promotion, uh, sometimes he actually, yeah, he is a, he became a supervisor, he did have a little team with him, he did have a few people with him that worked with him, 
Wait a minute. Two thousand and eight was when he started to get trained. Two thousand and nine is when he started to get trained for that he would be uh, like a little supervisor, you know. And uh, well, that's that's a long time ago, you know. Uh, but uh, I don't think he's the type of guy that he would want more than that. Uh, I'm not saying that he's not qualified. Uh, this guy probably does have a university i think he does have a university i'm pretty sure he does have a university he does have a university this guy um but yeah and there was some talk about that he was offered something but that he didn't want you know and so uh yeah he definitely is a supervisor but uh, uh he is uh, let's say Pevitz is his supervisor. Uh, yeah, he is assistant of the Pevitz, you know. Um, that means that he's quite a supervisor. He's probably a supervisor of the shift uh, for uh, evenings. Yeah, yeah, that's the way it is. Well, that he got promoted... If I already have to do this stuff, 2014, 2015, 2016, I go with the 2016, actually, you know what, 2015, 2016 I go, uh, 2016, I go definitely with the 2016, he probably became like a shift supervisor for, uh, afternoons the, the, the guy is the guy was not the worst guy in the world but the thing about it is that he covered up crime for uh, his owners you know uh, for his owners uh, and the only thing like i said he did smart today and i'm really grateful to him is he didn't give me his name I like repeating this fact. Um, the thing is, I don't see this as a form of help at all. The thing is, he was so generous, he even stated that he knows my mama and that he knows my papa. Therefore, it must not be difficult to know who the fuck I am. If he knows my mother, he knows my father, I'm sure he also knows me. But this is not the way things are supposed to turn around. I was forced to give him a promise, just like Pivots, just like everyone else, uh, that I will not touch them, that I will uh, do nothing to them. Uh, and the same thing was with uh, Mitya Weber, uh, Nisi's husband and so on. They all wanted from me guarantees. Nobody, however, told me for what what kind of guarantees weren't uh, for what uh, every one of these issues uh, under this kind of circumstances easily could destroy my life yeah every one of these issues was actually a death threat for me i consider like a gravest highest threat to existence uh, and sorry but the thing is that with ongoing crime, according to MK Ultra scenario, because everything goes according to MK Ultra scenario, uh, you are not going to redeem your owners. You're not going to fucking redeem your owners by doing this. You know what I mean? Uh, what exactly do I mean? What I mean by this, you're not going to excuse Natasha Pierce Musa. You're not going to excuse Borat Pahor. You're not going to excuse. Milan Kuchan, you're not going to excuse this homeless dogs.
who don't who just don't fucking know how to get back to their owners in Belgrade. You know what I mean? You don't got fucking excuse them with this stuff. If you think you're gonna be doing this kind of stuff, threaten my exist existence, my existential, uh, my existence. And you think you have some kind of agreement with me? I, I, I'm not going to even say think again. No, we don't have any kind of agreement. I'm going to say to you like this. There's no fucking agreement between us. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you're going to have to find somebody who is really mentally ill. And that's a bad news also for the people in London. That's a bad news for the British royals. I am not this mentally ill. I know what it means to fuck somebody destroy his life, rip his life apart, and use additional crime to present one to guy, individual, in case he doesn't get killed somehow, as a form of cooperation based on agreement. It doesn't work like this. You know, you could save us a whole lot of fucking problems if you just came to me before I headed to the Belarus in 2017, you know, if you would just come here, you, know, you would talk to me about it, like people do, uh, and do whatever you are required to, according to a statute, a police statute, Uradni list, your citizen duties. I have a feeling there's people here that think that they are police officers. Uh, the thing is that uh, before you're a police officer, you're a citizen. If you get fucked as a police officer, it's not so bad. But if you get fucked as a citizen, like charged with a treason, charged with a grand treason then you are really 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 fucked especially some genocide issues are involved in it so you know it's worse to get fucked as a citizen than as a police officer uh, as a police officer is one thing but as a citizen is something completely different yes there is such a thing like uh, <laughs> there is a such a thing uh, for the people who believe in one. There is a, such a thing like exemption, or I should say immunity from persecution, if you are a, as a, a state official, as a police officer. But not in this case. I have to disappoint you so much because of the issues that is involving. Now, if I would allow uh, to see myself as somebody who's actually receiving assistance through the uh, I don't even know how the fuck I would uh, through the violence like this uh, yeah maybe you know maybe maybe that will be your lucky day but I don't I don't I don't Prince Charles now King Charles was actually dear to me. He was very, very dear to me. Uh, I liked him as a person during MK Ultra, um, except that I was not completely aware about what kind of rat this was, actually, what the fuck he was doing. And, you know, I was such a great person, such a good-hearted person that when I stated right now that I was not completely aware about what kind of rat he was. No. The thing is that I consider a guy as, as a friend, as a very, very special friend. And I was certain that the stuff he is doing is bad stuff, as far as bad stuff, is some form of help. However, that as soon as it will become evident that this is MKUltra crime case, 
uh, he would have people stop this shit. He would have uh, stop this stuff for certainty. And uh, at my great disappointment, that shit just didn't happen. He just continued to drag on, pose in front of the castles, uh, uh, smiley. Uh, I don't know. Uh, nice person, nice guy in a public, family guy in a public. Uh, everything. Uh, is a my appointment for my common sense i'm gonna say too fucking normal yeah when i compare to myself that i ended up in some psychiatric hospital and stuff like this that kind of stuff sorry uh when it comes to the psychiatric hospital this is basically this is the dot I'm gonna to say to you of no return. This is this is where you go into prohibited zone. This is a twilight zone. Well, put me into the fucking psychiatric hospital. You're fucking dead. That's when you are dead. That that's when if you think we still have a, some kind of agreement that we have something, is because you're fucking insane. Because I know what the fuck pills did to me. I know what kind of stuff. I have gone through to stay alive you are under no fucking way no circumstances my friend and the stuff you continue to enforce against me is just gonna add up to more and more proofs about you being extremely abusive toward me that's all there is friendship is not gonna be ever in this case um i wish i could say that prince king charles now it was a mystery in between. I wish he was uh, I wish he had at least that I would believe that he had a good moments because I was certain that he had a lot of good moments. I was certain that he was out there that he wanted to help me out and so on. Uh, but you know, uh, when I think about what the fuck I have gone through Poland, that's already past psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. When he rushed me with a plane to India, where this orange people, they were dressed up in orange, uh, where he posed with his fingers. Uh, and I don't like using this expression, sausage fingers and stuff like this. I'm not making fun out of that stuff. I don't want to do this kind of stuff. I, yeah, I did few remarks because I was mad. I was angry. I was so fucking angry because, uh, you know, uh, uh, how the fuck dare you? How dare you? How the fuck dare you post in front of me with your sausage finger? You who drink alcohol, who had absolutely everything in this world and have stated me on your povorka, on your on your walk through that church with other royals, you walk very slowly and so on. Ask what the fuck is going on? What what's what, why are you so slow and this and that? And you said you you're gonna be just like us and so on. We're gonna fuck you and this and that. You're gonna you're gonna be it's gonna be you're gonna be the same. You're gonna be the same. I said, why don't you go fucking exercise, do stuff? Why the fuck? Am I responsible for people drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes? He didn't smoke cigarettes, but he did the alcohol and stuff. For being super wealthy and not caring about problems he created to the degree that those get completely out of hand. Forcing people to get systematically killed before they could tell their tale about what the fuck went on. I am just gonna burn this movie uh, and this is not gonna go
this is obviously not going to go into the category of I am not going to, the movie I am burning right now is a movie totally separate and I'm not going to waste my time with this stuff because there's so much more I have to do, look what time the fuck is I still have to wash stuff and do all kinds of stuff and it's fucking midnight tomorrow is Monday <clears throat> Um, Americans asked Charles, they told him, they warned him, don't fucking do this, don't, don't push him into this, don't push him, into, don't, don't do this, Let's stop this thing, you know, like everyone else, not, I did not have any fucking choice, you left me without absolutely any kind of choice, you had choice on the other hand, you had choice, so don't think that this extermination procedure against me is ever going to be admitted as some form of assistance. Um, you're you, I am I, the two of us will never be. Uh, a part of me is actually even crying for that. It always will. Because it was this old man, older man, I didn't like to see him as an old man uh, and you know the thing is you could you could have a great friend and the, but the thing is that you don't have to worry about because you can't lose anything you never had I never was your friend I was just a I was just a cart I was just a trolley I was just a, I was just a convenient uh, it's like some sort of transport wagon, whatever it is, that you used to get ahead of it. And then when you no longer need it, you just, you know, kick that away. I get it. You, however, are responsible to the degree of your British laws, constitution, uh, and that's the kind of stuff that worries you. Out of that, nothing worries you. Uh, sad story in other words very very sad story now the facts that I stated in this video are never going to change facts if anybody thinks that we have some form of agreement uh, based on crime that you will enforce against me uh, please uh, for your own sake, for your own, for your own sake, I'm so glad that this guy didn't give me the name. Please, please, uh, do yourself a favor. I, the thing is that I know, I, I understand, I know, I know, I know all this shit. You had to put this shit in writing. I remember that stuff. I remember what police the fuck was doing. You, every one of you that you were in MK Ultra, when it comes to crimes, they make you write a contract. I understand that, I know that. The thing, however, I'm saying to you is, please, do yourself a favor. Don't do it, because I will destroy you. I will follow up on you, and I will get you. And I will make sure that you do serve that penalty inside of the jail. Or maybe even something worse if I get you out of the jail. You understand? Do yourself a favor. Don't. If you have that kind of contract, this is a great time, in fact, for you to come here to this house, to this home, and demonstrate me that contract. Numerous people involving MK Ultra procedure had that contract. It is as simple as this. I don't have any kind of agreements with absolutely anybody. Whoever is going to draw the gun on me is going to get back. It's as simple as that. You endanger my life. I will take my legal steps. Not only to prevent you from causing me harm, but protect my life from future attacks, attempts.
to influence my life in a negative way. I'm just saying to you, don't. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm going to get to you before you're going to get to me. Trust me. I love the fact the guy did not give me his last name tonight. He did not give me his last name. I absolutely not threatened one. I did, however, told him, when you get fired as a police officer, it's a very difficult situation you'll find yourself in. Because you get fired as a police officer. Certainly you will not get another employment as a police officer, that's one thing. Even in that in the United States of America, that kind of stuff already happened. I'm going to say to you, I was next to law enforcement officers. I spent time next to law enforcement officers. I worked with them. They worked on the posts where I worked as a security officer. I interacted with them. It did happen that in some county they lost jobs, and I understand they got jobs in another county and stuff like that, but that all depends on what kind of violation you do. For this kind of stuff, it's not worth it. That's all there is to it. What's worth it is to come here and show me the contract. That's the kind of stuff that's worth it. What's worth it is to come here, give me the videos of what went on. That is the stuff that's worth it. Well, you know, I didn't call the number 112. And the thing about it is that on my friend, on this audio recorder right here, I just happened, so I did mention Mr. Pevitz. And fact that he wanted me, which window exactly he had chosen for me to break to get inside of the house. Uh, I'm not, the truth is, Mr. Pevitz, uh, Mr. Pevitz is like a supervisor over there. I'm not really the kind of person that breaks things. You dreamed about breaking my head. But the thing is that I'm not the kind of person that dreams about breaking things. You guys dreamed a whole lot about proving how I break absolutely everything. Let's never forget that fact. You broke absolutely everything I had. Vandalized, destroyed. But I'm just not the kind of guy. You got a wrong kind of guy. I knew this immediately. I knew immediately what, what you are up to, what you're trying to do, what where the things are going to go. So, you know, it's all on audio recorder. And this before I called the number 113. In fact, I will be honest with you. Look at that. Seriously, no. It's actually on tool. It's actually on tool recorders. That's how the fuck I do that. You know, there are always smart people, like the police officer I have interacted with tonight, when I called the number 113, uh, I was sure that, and this stuff cannot be proven. The thing is that you'll be surprised how fucked up this stuff is, how easy it is to prove the things the police way. Shazam! Just like you'll be surprised how easy that stuff is. You'll be surprised how easy it's to prove the stuff. People think it's not easy, it's not possible, it's difficult. People have the wrong ideas about things. You'll be surprised how easy it's to prove things. Very often, actually, probably 99.9% .9 of the time. Look. Uh, The conversation with the 113 response, a dispatcher officer tonight I had, with the regional here from Nova Mesto Police Station, uh, where I was transferred to the number 113, this is emergency number in Slovenia, who advised me that he's very busy and uh, the police officers, uh, the um, intervention units, uh, that's, that's how they call them, intervention, patrulla. Uh, they are very busy, they respond, you don't know how many people call on this and that. 
uh, today is Sunday. Uh, it's the time when I called. I think it was about like about half 10 in the evening, about 21, 40 hours in the evening. Uh, yeah. As soon and I don't have ability to call my mother because I don't have the phone card. I have to recharge the, my prepaid telephone. The soon the conversation ended with unidentified for today police officer. I would try to keep this guy uh, in a shadow. But we're going to see how this is going to work out. Um, um, no, the promises, I don't want to make any kind of promises. I don't want to make any kind of promises. The promises, as far as the promises, is exactly what I stated here. Uh, I don't have any kind of agreements with absolutely anybody. There will be any kind of negotiations. There will be no, no shit. Uh, don't. That's all there is to it. Uh, we're not going to see nothing how things are going to work out. Um, I will definitely get his name. Absolutely his badge number. Uh, whether I'm going to give out his name, badge number, uh, that's something to uh, for me to um, determine. But uh, as soon as our conversation ended, my mother came out of fucking nowhere, which is crazy because I was downstairs in the in front of the house, and I had absolutely no access to her. And she's on this floor. I had no telephone to call her. Uh, yet, all of a sudden. Exactly as I suggested, uh, the one who did this kind of stuff is when a mother appeared on a terrace. Uh, she cursed me out. She had a very, very bad attitude. Uh, I was even Satan, uh, whatever. Uh, and I was allowed basically to get inside of the house. I climbed back on the terrace without using any kind of words, any language, and I continued to do my stuff. Um, see, the thing is that uh, how the fuck did she know? How did she know that I'm outside? I never mentioned her that I'm outside because she refused to speak to me. Any answers on that? Uh, this is going to be a question for the police. And the case ended in a such a way so that uh, At the police station where I came, it was again Mr. Pevitz during MK Ultra. They, re they rehearsed this incident from today, matched one with the incident from June 21st, 2024. And as soon as I came to the police station, according to MK Ultra scenario, this is what they did to me during MK Ultra scenario. They started to harass me. Uh, that I am charged with whatever the fuck I am charged with, etc., 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 and uh, that that started. This is what I see. This is this is what I'm gonna say to the to the to the to the lava master police. Uh, You're fucking schizophrenics, man. You're Jesus. Every fucking one of you. There's not a single fucking normal person inside of the fucking department. You're, you're absolutely not capable to run the police affairs. 
anywhere in Syria. It dangerous. It should be dangerous to society. Started to suggest me, talking about the officer I spoke with tonight, on how he also managed, after I promised him, I don't know what the fuck I promised him, he's going to explain to me when I come to the police station what exactly I promised him. Because the only promise that I gave you is whatever is inside of this video. That's the only promise. That the two of us worked out and that that's also okay. And uh, with this Shiza, they were doing the Renan character. It's also other issues that those didn't work out and so on. Uh, Pevitz acted like somebody, like some kind of senior that uh, he doesn't know, but he doesn't know, but what about other troubles? He had some people he interacted with in front of me. Uh, he's gonna. He said to me, I don't know if I managed to uh, take care of my problems with other officers and so on. You got it all fucking wrong. Uh, you got it wrong. You got it totally wrong. You don't, you don't fucking understand anything, who the fuck I am. You don't know nothing about me, for one thing. You were talking to yourself. And... The question arises on how the fuck I know so much about the schizophrenia. They wanted to know how much, how the fuck do I know so much about the schizophrenia? Is this what this officer asked me? And it was other officers that asked me. Don't worry about it. It's the Ljubljana police is going to get this before you're going to get my visit. I'm going to get you a state prosecutor. I'm going to get you people from Ljubljana. We're going to come together at Novomesto police station to meet you in person next time. There's going to be a next time. That's how the next time is going to be. How the fuck I know so much about the schizophrenia? Um, I am going to get this police officer's name. I'm going to put him on the internet and I will destroy this police officer. You heard me? I will destroy this police officer. This is a question he asked me during MK Archer. It was the very, it was the worst, the biggest mistake he had made during MK Archer. It's the fuck, that's the one that fucking. Now you know. That's all. Uh, this today, yeah, July already goes into July 8, but this, everything that have taken place, you're gonna see it's a movie. I just. Uh, and of course, I also have audio I'm going to put online. It goes into the category of July the 7th, 2024, when this stuff took place. And one more thing, Denise, who was here, she created an incident here with the mother. She attacked me with the mother. That was yesterday. She left the key inside of the door, door entrance on the outside deliberately uh, using mother who never is using a speakerphone she was using a speakerphone uh, to make me feel according to NK Ultra brainwash that she is upstairs when in fact she was downstairs and mother giving me information that she is in fact in the washing room it may make me almost kind of a, make me feel strange it made me feel when I walked toward mother's room that my niece was in the kitchen and disappeared downstairs. And meanwhile, as I walked and asked mom, it made me strange. And once I went downstairs to ask her about the key at the entrance door on the outside, left inside of the open entrance door and key inside of the entrance door, I couldn't find her anywhere. I found her outside on the garden. Exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. Next to the beans around there. Next to the beans. And once I returned, well, I, once I advised her about the door entrance and return upstairs, my mother started to ask me as if I did something to the niece or something like that. Where is the niece? 
in a very, very disrespectful, violent way, in a very, very incommunicative, aggressive way. It's supposed to, according to my niece, make me feel, and her husband, Mitya Weber, uh, a teacher at Sushetizou, he's a teacher. It's supposed to make me feel uh, that I have to make sure that I always uh, keep doors secure if I air the house, if I let the air circle through the house, etc., etc. So we have we have the set here. We have the police the police dots going like this with police engaging in violence against me. I'm not going to say they are using parents. I'm going to say the parents are using the police. And police is using parents. Or I should say family. If this is family, what family is like and about. According to MK Ultra, my mama also departed home. And moved herself. This is also what went on during MK Ultra. To the niece's husband and to my niece. Into their house at Gurum. This kind of shit went on. Well, don't you worry, sooner than you know, you're going to have assistance and you're going to explain to me how the fuck I know so much about the schizophrenia.